Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Today, not Evo content. No Evo stuff today. But S13 content. So, the S13, um, about a month or two ago, had a problem where it was idling a little bit high. So, I was looking for some vacuum leaks, and it turned out it didn't have any vacuum leaks because I smoked it, I boost leak tested it, it's fine. I was like, hmm, it's kind of idling high. I have a Hall Tech in the car. I decided that I was going to plug in to the Hall Tech to see if it was throwing any codes. And that's when everything broke loose and had problems. So basically, my Hall Tech, I didn't update it and it was on the old software. And because I had the old software and they made me get the new app or new software, when I went to go load the map onto the new software, it wiped my map completely. So my S13 had no tune in it and it did, did not run at all. So what I'm doing now is getting it retuned. Um, right now, as you can see, we got the computer hooked up to the Hall Tech. Uh, Freddy from Spectune is remote tuning the car for a base map um, so I could drive it to him tomorrow so I could get it tuned again. So he's working on the base map right now. When he tells me to start it, I hope and pray that this thing idles again. Let's see. All right, here we go. First crank since the whole disaster. It's alive. Oh. Oh. Doesn't sound too good, but she's on a base map, so we're gonna get her tuned tomorrow, but this is the first time that it's idling and staying running, which I'm so happy about, because it might sound a little bad right now, but we're gonna get it worked out. So we're gonna go pick up some fresh E85 in the S13, I'm gonna bring gas can to the station, pick up some E because it has barely any gas in it because I haven't driven the car because it had this issue and I didn't want to leave it with the 85 in it. So we're gonna go pick up some fresh E. Let's go. You know what time it is. It's the 85 time. This is a wise quote by Brandon. What is it? Corn has no nutritional value, except it has race car power. <laughs> race car power. Time to put the magic sauce in the S13 without spilling it everywhere. Drink up. <laughs> we are going to bring the S13 to the tune shop right now since it's the middle of the night and there's not a lot of traffic and it's obviously not running the best. So that's what we're gonna do so we don't get caught up in traffic because it's not running, not running that good, but it'll be running better tomorrow when we get it tuned. So that's the plan. No traffic, no problems. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say. So we just got back from Gizmo's shop, as you can see, where we dropped off my um, S13. Uh, they were busy, they were messing with some IS300 and some. Well, they're 2J RX-7 like you saw, so I didn't really want to like bother them, but cars dropped off, made it there safe. So tomorrow is the big day of getting it tuned. I'm so excited. Bye, Freddy, Spectune. Thank you for everything that you've done so far getting my car running so I could drive it there. So tomorrow's a big day. So see you guys tomorrow. So today is the day that we go to the tuner to get the S13 tuned. Just got off of work. So I'm gonna head to the tuner right now. Um, he actually got there a little early, so he's been like kind of tinkering with the car, making it run better. Um, 
So super excited about that. So we are on the way. Hopefully everything goes smooth. Let's go. Well guys, we made it. Palmer's on the dyno. So letting it cool down. He was just running it, doing some drivability stuff. So we're letting it cool down and then he's gonna do a couple more passes. So can't wait for that. The S13 didn't go as planned on the dyno. It had some issues um, that I'm gonna have to address that Freddie told me what I should do. So I'm definitely going to do that. Um, a lot of the vacuum lines were starting to you kind of crumble and decay or come apart or collapsing. So we didn't push the car hard. He kind of just tuned it for some drivability. That way I'm able to drive around with the car until I fix all the issues. Um, so we're gonna replace all the vacuum lines that I'm going to add um, some more sensors to the hall tech to use it at its full potential. I'm going to run a boost controller through the hall tech right now. It's on AEM True Boost, so I'm gonna wire it into the hall tech. I'm also gonna do it to the for the radiator fans and I'm go, going to add a fuel pressure sensor to the hall tech as well. Freddie recommended all of that, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna listen to him with that. Um, so now the S13 I've had for about seven years. Um, and it's been the same ever since I put the motor in about three years ago, three to four years ago. Um, got a little distracted with the Evo, but we're gonna work on the S13 again. We're gonna get it back and running in its prime. Um, so we're gonna redo that, but this isn't the end of the S13. This is just the beginning for the content for it. Um, we're gonna get it back on the dyno and make, get it making the same power that it did three years ago. So until next time. Brand new beach, it's a brand new friend. Got a brand new bed, huh? It's a brand new dance, huh? Got a brand new kid.